What's up my detailing people? It's Wayne back again with another detailing video. We here at H2O. I got Hector Jr. over here with me, man. What up? This is your boy Hector Jr. over here at H2O and Covina. We got mad supplies in the house. We also do detailing and we build the vans. You guys already probably seen me in the previous videos with Hunter when we built out his van, but we also got some chemicals out and yeah. All right, in this detailing video, I'm gonna be talking about my top six interior detailing tools. So follow along with me, man. First up on the list, man, we got your brushes. I know you guys see the guys with the brushes all on the doors, doing all this. So what they're doing is, man, they're agitating the chemicals in the doors so the products can do what they do, man. So what this is good for is to reach in the cracks and crevices that you can't get from just simply using a towel. You can get in the door jams, the cup holders, you spray it down and you agitate it. You spray it down to clean some parts of the doors. All right, so next up on the list, other than the brushes, we got the dog hair removal, you guys. I've been out to jobs to where I did not have this and it cost me an extra two, two hours, you guys. So make sure you have this. This is going to pick up the dog hair and it's gonna, you're gonna work more effectively because time is money and we need all that, man, come on. All right, so next up on the list, third on the list of my top detailing products is, follow me over here, man. We got the Minty, the Mighty, and my boy Hector Jr. gonna run some game over to y'all, man. Yeah, like, the Mighty, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but this is pretty much gonna be your carpet extractor. You're gonna be using this on your carpets for upholstery, um, your cloth seats as well. So we got two extractors. But which one did you start off with? Um, I think you started, I started off, off with the Bissell Pro. With the Bissell Pro, and what, right? and what happened with that is I snapped that in half because it's real cheap material. So where's that piece at? So I went out to a job and I was extracting and I put a lot of pressure on it and it snapped in half. And I went out and got the uh, the, the Mighty Light. The Mighty, it's the Mighty Light, right? Yeah, the, the, Mi the Mighty 8070. You yes, got sir. the big boys. I got the big boys, man. <laughs> yeah. Got the big boys, so I had to upgrade. Right off, right off the bat from the Bissell, you just hopped onto that. Who put, like, why why did you want to get that one? Or like, you know what, YouTube. Just YouTube? like everybody tuning in, watching YouTube videos, it put yeah. me up on game and I knew it was the top of the line commercial, commercial grade. Yeah, because so, to be honest, this is one of the best ones you could get, especially for auto auto detailing. It's industrial grade. Your Bissell is going to be more for like your household stuff, exactly. like anything that you have for like your couches. And yeah, it's, it's a really it's a really good starter extractor. But when you get into something that's more for your business, you want something that's going to be built to last. And it, the, these Mighty's come with great one year warranty. They're made to last, they have good lift, and it also heats up your water. So it's just it's just a no-brainer. Just uh, look these up, check them out. But basically we got we got two of them right here. So we got the one gallon mighty uh, 300S tempo. That one's pretty cool. A lot of people start off with that one. But then like this one right here, the benefit of having this one is just a bigger tank, so more more water more lift so it's not only you're going to be holding more water in there you're going to be also having a better suction to take out those juices or whatever the hell's in in those seats or those exactly. carpets but yeah right. so, so it's a big drastic change from the bissell pro to this it's heated it the suction is extremely better and you're going to be more time effective with the bissell pro you're going to be going over it a lot so if you can afford it it's definitely next up on the list make sure you get this you guys all right, so next up, this goes hand in hand, man. We got the drill brush coming up next. So what you're gonna use the drill brush for, you connect this right here, and this is gonna be used to agitate, to agitate. So you're gonna spray your chemicals down, and you're gonna agitate the carpet, you're gonna agitate the, uh, the seats, and then you're gonna use uh, the extractor over there. So this is really good for your seats, your floors. You can use it for tires on the outside. But you also want to be careful with bristles you use because these are different. Um, it's different stiffness to uh, each brush. This one's the softest and you got the middle and you got the hardest. And you gotta be careful because if you use these on seats, you could damage the seats. You better make sure you got some good insurance for that. So be careful. Anything else you wanna elaborate on yeah, it, brother? Yeah, and then like, like, Hun like Hunter was saying is just, all these tools you're going to be using them hand on hand it's not just one time i'm going to use it for this for this job most of the time you're using all these tools co uh, combined 
And then on top of that, when you have the extractor and you have the, all this drill brush, it's just faster. You're getting your job done faster and it's just easier on yourself. Right, because normally people will come in with a, a, a manual brush, for instance. Where we at? Yeah, imagine you're over here just scrubbing it. You're not going to be as fast yeah. as the drill. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You want to get this. It's the upgrade. It's the upgrade from yeah. this to this. Definitely, these bristles do come on hand in hand. I'm sure you, Hunter, you probably use the the yellow one most of the time. Yes, sir. This soft one too. Like I use it for like leathers, plastics, and you could even use it on some softer carpets too. And it's like something that we see visually, like in in every car, like. Every car manufacturer has different types of carpets and that's why you gotta be careful which one you choose because if you pick a stiff one, you're gonna mess it all up. And some stuff up. It's man. gone, you know, going back after yes, that. Sir. So yeah, you just, this one's usually for your delicate stuff. This is the lighter, stiff bristle. This one's your medium, which is the one that you're gonna be using for your carpets, your seats. This one, I rarely pull Sheesh. it out, but maybe for like uh, rubber mats, or yeah, like the rubber mask. tires or something, sure. something like that. I mainly just stick to these two. I don't, I don't even buy that one. All right, so this right here is a six gallon air compressor. Anything lower than this, man, you're gonna be struggling out there. You know, you're gonna use the air, it's gonna run out. And I, I learned that from my van. So it was like a two, two gallon, something real, real, real small. And I would run out within like, Sheesh, 20 seconds, and I would have to wait 30 seconds. So it was a big hassle, and you gotta be time effective. So this right here, you wanna get this, this big one right here. And what the, what the air compressor is good for is blowing out uh, stuff that you can't reach. You know what I mean? You wanna blow it out from the back seat to the front seat. You can use a tornado to agitate the carpets, to agitate everything so that when you vacuum, you're not struggling, scraping everything. It's come, everything comes up easy, you know what I mean? And uh, what the air compressor is also good for is blowing out water that's dripping after you got done uh, rinsing your vehicle. And you know the uh, irritating, the water drips down and the sun bakes it into the car. Um, this, you could use this to blow out all the water, wipe it up. All right, so next up we got on the list is the steamer. All right, so what I like to use the steamer for is, let's say you got some Jolly Ranchers, some Skittles, and a whole bunch of stuff stuck in the uh, cup holders. Door jams, you know, the kids be out there getting, getting, getting active in the cars, man. This is gonna be good to reheat and then wipe it off because some things you cannot get off from just yeah. simply spraying chemicals and wiping it down. You about to be out there wrestling. Arms gonna be on swole after you get done. So I like to use this also for the cracks and crevices, you know, and um, you wanna add anything else to it, brother? Yeah, so with this steamer, if you look even back here on the, on the picture, it shows you multiple uses that you can use it for. So you can see the number one thing I like to tell people, they always ask, should I get an extractor or a steamer starting out? Personally, I'm always going to tell you to go, it's going to be more versatile. What's going to get you the best bang for your buck? This steamer right here is going to be more versatile than the extractor. The extractor will only be able to take care of the carpets, while this could take care of cup holders, door liners, carpets, anything that you need. So if you're looking to start off and you want something to help you clean some carpets, I recommend using some carpet cleaner like what happens to be right next to us coincidentally. Spray that, hit it up with the steamer, mop it up with a towel, do a couple passes if needed, and you'll be all good to go. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Mr. Top Class, yes, man. Definitely. Top of his class. All right, so that's my top six favorite interior detailing products. Make sure you get up and you're not only watching us, but you're out there getting active. Give all glory to God and all what things happened? are falling into place, you guys. You guys know what to do with it. Like, share, subscribe. What? Drop a comment down below what your favorite products are. And remember, there's Why links down I below to the accessories that I use, the products that I use. Show some love, you guys.